Hello everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe with Review Lagoon and the Green Robot Gamer. I'm here to show you how to use USB Bluetooth Joy Center with uh, touch screen mapping so that you can use physical controls such as the uh, Wii controller, which is what we're going to use today, to play games that do not have physical controls such as the Pinball Arcade. So first off, um, obviously you have to have an Android device and it does need to be rooted. Uh, rooted device is required to do this. First up, you're going to launch the USB Joystick Center. Make sure that Bluetooth, of course, is turned on for your device. And make sure that your device syncs up. I push 1 and 2 on the Wii controller. And you can see that I am now hooked up. Excellent. So next up, we're going to change the IME over to USB Joy. That way the controls are remapped properly. Next up, you're going to tap the Wii Remote. And there's two items here, Touch Edit M and Touch Edit Save. You're going to want to go ahead and assign those to a couple of buttons you're not going to use. In my case, I'm going to assign it to plus and minus. Touch the item, press the button, touch the item, and press the button. Good. So now you can see that they're both mapped up. Perfect. Now we are ready to proceed. Next up, you have to turn Joy to Touch on at the top. It's going to ask for root access. You're going to grant it root access, etc., etc. It's going to give you the whole kit and caboodle. So now hit back to exit out. And you can test by pressing the button you assigned to edit. And if it comes up in edit mode, then you are good. Press it again to toggle back off. Perfect. Now go to the game that you'd like to play. In this case, Pinball Arcade. Throw a little audio in here for you. And this is a good example because um, one of the pinball tables has a very odd placement of buttons that makes it almost impossible to play. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use that table as our demo. The Black Knight. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start the game. And this is how you're going to do it for pretty much anything. Now the flippers are here on, on this touch area and on this touch area. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the editor by pressing the appropriate button, which in my case is plus. Now you'll see I've got some buttons already programmed here. I've got a flipper here and a flipper here and I've got nudges set up. You notice I do not have buttons set up here. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see as I'm pushing the buttons on the controller, you can see that the buttons are mapped accordingly to those button presses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these so I can start from scratch and show you how this works. Okay, I'm going to leave the two on there that are already there. Those are the analog stick controls. They won't be in the way for what we're doing here today. So what we're going to do is um, you're going to hold down the direction. In my case, I'm going to hold the Wii controller horizontally. I'm going to use this D-pad direction for one flipper and I'm going to use this two button as my other flipper. So what you do is you hold the button down that you want to um, map to, right? And then touch the screen. So you see here, I have mapped it to the two button. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Good. I'm going to put my nudge up here and my nudge to the one button up here. And as you can see, if you can see the screen at the same time, button there, button there, button there, and button there. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my Magna saves, which I'm going to go ahead and put on the A and the B button on the back. So the Magna save buttons you can see are unusually put up here. So I'm going to map this to A, and I'm going to map this to B. I'm not sure that'll work. A second here. And let's try this again. That's probably pretty close. So we find out by taking the screen off by pressing plus, and then we see if the buttons work as we expect. As you can see, the magnet saves are pushing fine with A and B. Perfect. Now we can't really do this because this is an analog type control, so we still have to shoot the ball with our finger. But as you can see, I am now completely playing with a wireless controller with physical buttons, which of course make pinball just that much more fun. Now note um, with the USB joystick um, touch to joy or joy to touch um, 
uh, options, you can only have one thing set up at a time. Uh, if you're into um, the PlayStation 3 controller, they have a six axis one that lets you do this sort of thing but save profiles. For me, I don't mind a quick setup just to get this working. But as you can see, I can now play just about any game with physical controls and um, I can actually use a real controller, plug this into my HDMI, sit on the couch and enjoy the game. Hope you enjoyed the demo. Join us over at ReviewLagoon.com and GreenRobotGamer.com for more tutorials, more reviews, you know, the stuff that matters. This is Shane Armonroe. We'll see you next time.